last night saw a wildly entertaining segment featuring the Ruck and the Bloodline. It came hot off the heels of a tremendous promo the Ruck dropped on Instagram, where he fleshed out the story between him and Cody Rhodes, and attempted to fill in the numerous plot holes concerning the American Nightmare, handing him the WrestleMania main event, and then turning around and changing his mind. Last night's segment, in which the Ruck, the High Chief, acknowledged Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, also set up the big tag match that's been bubbling in the rumour mill for a while now. The Ruck and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. So there's storytelling, there's character work, there's a big moment between the Ruck and Roman Reigns, and there's an exciting matchup for WrestleMania 40 lined up. So what's the actual problem here? SmackDown is a two-hour show. This segment, counting the entrances, ran to a whopping 31 minutes. No wrestling, no action, all talk, all hype. And hey, look, when it comes to talk and hype, there's no one better than The Ruck. But more than 25% of this show was mic work. Last year saw some similarly long segments with the Bloodline, particularly with Sami Zayn and Jey Uso, and again, they weren't bad. But WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment, and the second W is often getting left out in the cold for Roman Reigns Theatre Hour. This is not cinema. Doesn't matter how many grown adults high off nostalgia say it. Not cinema. This is wrestling, and a finer balance of wrestling to entertainment would go a long way. Back in the 90s, when fans were switching channels, the WWF was time and again people talking. WCW was people taking action, and it ran hot, and it dominated the ratings for a little while there. And even as big segments with the NWO and the Four Horsemen and Sting they typically ran at a much quicker pace during the promotion's peak run. Now, AEW has never rivaled WWE the way WCW once did. And right now, sadly, it is dwindling quite badly. In 2021, though, it was all action, rapid-fire segments, and for the most part, faster-paced storytelling and promo cutting. That was peak AEW with a world champion Kenny Omega who was super active, edge lords like John Muxley tearing it up in blood-soaked brawls, Cody Rhodes having utterly bizarre feuds in his own little world, and Brian Danielson reminding everyone why he's one of the best to ever do it. The reason that was so good was because it was a professional wrestling show. Smackdown, that name, it's right there. This is meant to be a wrestling show. Segments like last night's one, good as it was, should not be running for half an hour. People buying tickets, they did come to see The Ruck and Roman Reigns, no doubt, no one's arguing with that. But they also came to see professional wrestling, with matches that actually have room to breathe and tell a story. And that should be the main hook of the show from start to finish. 